So, hi everyone. I like to always introduce myself and reveal all my identities. Um, so my name is Pedro. I'm a queer non-binary Chicano and I use all pronouns, she, they, and he. Um, and I really love doing um, breathing exercises and I also like doing some body movement. Um, so if you haven't done breathing exercises, we will, I will teach you here. And it's really useful when we're doing body movement because it really establishes a better relationship with our body. Um, so we will begin by breathing in four seconds. One, two, three, four. And breathing out eight seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in and breathe out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Okay, awesome. Um, and so breathing is really great. It helps you check in with yourself. Um, it has, you know, there's a lot of science now that has established that as we regulate our breathing, it helps us return back to an equilibrium. Um, and if you can't breathe out for eight seconds, that means there's a lot of stress going on. You might be in a heated argument. Um, and so it really helps with regulating your cortisol levels. And the importance of doing this before we, you know, as we're doing in body, body movement, it really helps again, like, let's just say there's a lot of stuff going on around you. And breathing actually helps you focus on your own internal bodily clock. And so what I want, well, I'm gonna leave it up to y'all. You can stand up for this portion, or if you feel more comfortable sitting down, you're more than welcome to be seated. And we're gonna be doing some, um, some poses. And these are really helpful, like most of you probably work in an office, and being in an office, you're probably recognizing a lot of stress that is being carried in your lower back, your shoulders, you know, all that is building up. And if you're not moving, you're creating a lot of stress. And so, so if you'd like, you're more than welcome to stand um, and feel, get used to your body, right? Like sometimes we get nervous about like, oh, can I stand up during this meeting? Will people find it awkward? Um, but more th you're more than welcome to stand up. And if you feel comfortable sitting, sit down. I don't want you to do anything that makes you uncomfortable. And so we'll begin with a very simple pose. And this is your palms are out. And you'll be using the breathing technique that I just showed you all. And we do this for 10 deep breaths. And allow yourself to breathe in and breathe out. And be as loud as you'd like because you want to get comfortable with your own breathing and your own noises that your body creates. So breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in and out. Okay. And we're going to take our hands and we're going to move in towards upward salute. And just feel that stretch in your back, in your shoulders. And you can move your neck and take in a breath in and out. Breath in and down. Breathe in and out. 
breathe in and out. Okay. You can slowly bring your hands forward. And if you'd like, if you feel comfortable doing so, you can stretch out like this. Yeah, take up all the space that you need and just breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. In and out. Breathe in and out. You're going to take your hands now to touch your toes. And if you feel like you can, go ahead. But sometimes when I do this, <laughs> Sometimes you can't in the beginning, but sometimes when you start relaxing your body, you'll be like, oh, wow, I can touch my toes. And so start breathing in and allow yourself to feel that stretch. You'll start feeling your neck being pulled down, and you're just going to focus on your breathing. The point of this is no, if you can't touch your toes, that's fine. Just allow your body to just feel the pull of gravity. Breathing in. And out. In. And out. In. And out. Okay. Slowly rise up. And give yourself a good exhalation, inhalation. <laughs> In and out. And now just give yourself a big hug and recognize how much work your body does. And just like really just, you know, get recognize, you know, recognize it. Um, give yourself a massage on your shoulders if that feels good. Um, but that's really helpful. Like sometimes you can just do really simple stretches and, and really just be mindful of your breathing because it really does help. Like as someone who's in recovery of alcohol, like, it has really established a really better relationship with myself um, to recognize, like, okay, my gut isn't really feeling this. <laughs> and so, like, really listening to yourself. It sounds, it sounded really cheesy when I first started doing it. And I'm like, wow, I'm actually building this relationship with myself and reestablishing that connection. And doing body movement or yoga, um, it really does help incorporate, like, a better understanding. Um, but now I'm going to ask you all if you'd like sit down, and we're going to do a body scan meditation. <laughs> also, I'd like to say, like, I'm really happy to see all y'all here. I feel like, to me, like, when I think with the whole peer movement, I feel like it's kind of like, I don't know, I feel like I'm at home. I feel like we're creating a community, and I feel like Everyone who's here is committed to that. And so thank you again for being present. And also thank you for everyone who's on here online. I saw that there was a few people driving and people with kids. And I know it's really difficult to give yourself that time to be mindful. But you are deserving of that and be kind with yourself. And so, so when we begin this body scan meditation, um, just look around the room. Recognize that you occupy this space with other people and taking a deep breath. And so I want you to start bringing attention to your body. Recognize where you are seated. Recognize how you are seated. You can close your eyes if that is comfortable to you or leave them open and focus your attention somewhere in the room. You can notice your body seated, wherever you are seated, feeling the weight of your body on the chair, and take a few deep breaths in and out. And as you take a deep breath, bringing in more oxygen and giving life to the body, and as you exhale, have a sense of relaxing more deeply As you start to scan your body, you can bring your attention back to your breath as an anchor to the exercise. Breathing in 
and breathing out. You can notice your feet on the floor. Notice the sensation of your feet touching the floor, the weight and pressure, vibration, heat. You can notice your legs against the chair, pressure, pulsing, heaviness, lightness. Now, notice your back against the chair. Breathing in and breathing out. Bring your attention into your stomach area. If your stomach is tense or tight, let it soften. Take a breath. Notice your hands. Are your hands tense or tight? See if you can allow them to soften. Notice your arms. Feel any sensation in your arms? Let your shoulders be soft. Notice your neck and throat. Let them be soft and relax. Breathing in and breathing out. Soften your jaw. Let your face and facial muscles be soft. Then, notice your whole body present. Take one more breath. Be aware of your whole body as best as you can. And then, when you are ready, you can open your eyes. saw a few of you dozing off, <laughs> which is fine, which is the purpose of this. Um, you know, if people are wanting to share, um, you're more than welcome to share, like, how did, was that experience? Did anyone feel any tension in their body by a raise of hands? No? Oh, okay. Yeah. Sometimes when I do that, um, I usually lead this with my, my mentees, and it's really helpful because sometimes people don't recognize how much stress they are carrying throughout the day, and when you allow them a moment of peace to start establishing that relationship with themselves, they start to recognize, wow, I am holding a lot of stress. And some people have stress in the most wildest places. Some of them are like, it's right here, I feel all this tensity here, I feel it in my shoulders, I have them in my hands. And sometimes when you, rec you know, when you talk to your, your peers, like, it allows them that moment, that break. And sometimes we just don't have that time, right? And making yourself that time, giving yourself that time, is like giving yourself that love. And if you allow other people to have that same time, you're allowing them to love themselves. Um, but this is what I have for y'all today. Um, and I hope that was relaxing. Um, and next time, you know, next year, maybe we'll full on do yoga and do some poses. Um, but right now, this space did not accommodate for that. Um, <laughs> but maybe next year, we'll do that. Um, but it really does help. And it just helps us to get recogni like recognizing new tools that we can be using in, and just helping folks. Um, so thank you again. <laughs> Um, and I hope that y'all, like, you know, again, turn to your left and turn to your right and start establishing new relationships and start fostering community. So thank you again.